Hey guys, Brodo here. Welcome back to Fishing North Atlantic. Here we are back on the slow mo, ready to do some more long line fishing. It's going to get Victor out to bait up with some shrimp. We're just going to throw our lines in here. This is just a little bit west, southwest of where we finished last episode. So I just want to throw some lines in down here and see how we go. Um, the redfish is just south here of where. Uh, we were fishing last time, so we're going to head this way and we're going to try and search for some cod. So this is where we had the pollock all through here. Um, a redfish down here, but I want to try and find some cod through here and see if we can hopefully land on the mother load of cod down through here. So what do we have? We have, um, keep doing that. You can repair for a little while, Emma. She's got nothing else to do. One thing I'm concerned about already is coming from Lunenburg to here, we've used half a tank of fuel already. So I'm kind of like, uh oh. Um, yeah, it's kind of, we've used quite a bit, so I don't know how we're going to go. But let's um, grab a screenshot of the slow mo. God, I love this boat. It's only small, it is slow, but it is, it is pretty cool. I, I, I like the boat. I just wish we could go a little bit faster with it, would be nice. Right, let's throw another one down in here. I'm not going to set them out exactly 200 metres apart, just when it says 100 metres, um, like we can set our next 100 metres away from our last one, I'll just leave it a little bit and then throw them out again, just to save a bit of time. So, hopefully you guys enjoyed the last episode. I think next episode we might look at going back... Um, Maybe do some deep line fishing. We'll, we'll check the prices at the end of this episode and see if the deep line, or the swordfish and tuna prices have gone back up and these prices are tanked a little bit. If they have, we might go back sword, sword fishing and tuna fishing. Um, see what we can can bring in with those guys because we've got 20,000 kilos of storage space on this boat. So I don't think we'll ever fill it up, but we're going to be able to bring in a fair amount of money to hopefully you know, when we want to upgrade and buy another bigger boat. Right, so it's ready to be thrown out now. We'll just wait a few more seconds and then throw it out. There we go. I'm just going to throw down six like we did last episode um, and hopefully we don't waste too much at the end. So I've seen a little silver hake down here as well. Um, not so much cod where we are at the moment but I'm still hoping there's some cod in the area and they're eventually gonna you know swim past here and hopefully pick up some of these baits and get stuck on our lines that would be perfect there's definitely some silver hake down here and some mackerel as well let's go full steam ahead Three lines in, three to go. Um, he's not baiting with the right thing. Got to press it every time, which is a little bit annoying. It should just stay on whatever we've clicked on before. So if I throw that out, then he will stay. Uh, every time, it changes every time. And now it's saying we've got crab don't want crab I want the shrimp oh well it is what it is we'll see what we can get anyway it shouldn't matter too much but yeah there's still some mackerel and some cod some pollock they're the two that we're after but the prices are going to start tanking if we start selling too much of it so we've got to Got to be careful with how much we're actually going to take in. That's why I'd like to head back and do some deep lining again. Alright, so he's got shrimp on again this time. I mean, we could go one for one. I mean, it's not going to hurt if we do. Some breadfish down here. So the boat's actually quite quick. It's quite quick when it's empty, but as soon as it gets some weight on it, it just struggles big time. 
good old slow mo. I think we d definitely just need to upgrade and get a boat with um, get a boat with a bigger engine, I guess. Bigger hold, bigger engine, and something that can actually handle handle the weight. Because this guy struggles quite a bit with the weight. Right, so it's line number five going in now. We've got one more after that. And we can turn around and sleep a little bit and start reeling them in and hopefully we can fill our boat again and get another decent sail like we got last episode. Right, so what's yeah, he's gonna set another one with shrimp, so that's fine. I'm not worried either way. He's got shrimp or crab, it doesn't matter. Take him out of there though. Um, she can stay there for now. Still a little bit of repairing to do. Alright, let's we'll throw our last one down. There's definitely some more redfish over this way. Just not seen a lot of cod, so I don't know how we're going to go over here. Hopefully, we're not completely in the wrong spot. Still some more mackerel. just about run out have a look at our lights here, they should all be turned off we can head back to where we need to go so we'll leave um, keep forgetting her name, we'll leave Emma there so she can keep doing her thing go back to here, try and reduce the distance I'm travelling Ah, oh, okay, let's go. Shut the boat down. Let's sleep for 19 hours. Emma's too tired to work. Hopefully she's rested a little bit. No, she's not. Oh, well, that's going to bugger me a bit, isn't it? Right, you can go to hand gutting. But I guess I'll take care of Rill and the fishing this time. Seeing as that Emma's a little bit, um, a little bit tired, we left her out there a little bit too long. Let's head towards line one and we'll see what we've got on here and hopefully we're in a reasonable spot. Otherwise we might need to keep looking around. The last spot we had wasn't too bad. Okay, first line. First one coming up is a cod. The one of 14, so that's not too bad. We just haven't got any info on where the cod actually is at the moment, so we're kind of still fishing blind as to where the cod is. Like, I know there's cod here, but is there a big school of cod, or is this the odd, you know, cod here and there? Because I didn't really see a big school of them on the radar, so... Look at all these guys thrown in. Here comes a silver hake doing a... Twirly whirly. And another one. I don't know if he's trying to get away or if he's just trying to make himself dizzy, I'm not sure. Definitely a decent amount of cod on here, which is good. We'll see the exact numbers once we're finished with them in and we'll see if we got a huge amount of cod compared to other stuff or if it's pretty even across the board. I don't think it matters what fish you're actually like hitting and throwing on board here. I don't think it matters. I think it just it gives you an average anyway. Okay, nearly 4,000 kilos. Uh, what do we have? 505 cod. We definitely had more cod than anything else. Uh, Pollock. Attic. 106 silver. 46 redfish. Definitely, we had more cod than anything else. How are you going, Emma? Resting a little bit. So we'll let her rest for a little bit longer. We don't want to bring her out too early. We'll see how we go. If we can get 10,000 off these first three, I'll bring her out and she can finish off. It's 
quite repetitive what we're doing at the moment. So I think, as I said, definitely next episode we might look at doing some deep line fishing or something like that. There's no point in trying lobster fishing because it's out of season. I know a lot of you guys want to see some lobster fishing and stuff, but it's just, um, yeah, it's not the right season for it. So there's no point in even trying it, I don't think. Right, really in that next one. Comes a spinning twirly whirly. Silver hake again. So 14 on again, so not a great number. I think 15 is the maximum, but still, it's not bad. There you go, gotta press X to shut that engine off, otherwise we're just wasting fuel. So we could should get some more Pollock than COD on this line, so we'll have to wait and see because it is I think this is the one of the crab lines that we did throw out early on. Getting a few perfects now, which is gonna help us increase the weight. Definitely seems like there's a lot more pollock on this line. But another one and then a redfish at the end, just to, to finish it off. Bam, there we go. Four and a half thousand, so that's pretty good. If we get this next one on, we should be close to 10 or 11,000 which will help us. So now we've got pretty much even amounts of cod and pollock. So that was definitely a crab line which has helped us out to even those guys out a little bit. From what I could see, um, the prices at Lunenburg are still the best prices. So we'll head back there again. Then we're gonna look at, as I said, do some deep line fishing and we'll have a look around and see where the best price is and try and head somewhere and Try and fill the boat with some swordfish. I think we'll definitely go and like target the swordfish. Probably a lot more. So if we've got say 20 deep lines on here, we'll probably go 15 swordfish and five tuna or something like that. Just do it that way and then we can sort of work out how our quota is gonna go. That way we try and hit you know the quota at the same time for both swordfish and tuna. We don't want to go over quota and have to throw fish back or potentially get fined, which should be what happens. Start off again with another twirly whirly. 15 on this time, which is good. Might fill the boat again with just five lines. I think this is our, this is our cod line. Put you off a little bit with that silver hag tool on around down there. So like, yeah, we've got another cod here, so that's like three in a row and then another one after this one as well. Then another twirly whirly coming on. Must just be the silver hake, maybe because it's so light, I guess. I don't know. See, the cod's just. It moves around a little bit, but nothing like the silver hake. Neither does the pollock, like haddock and redfish, they don't really move around either. I think the only reason why I like long line fishing a little bit better than net fishing is because we can actually target a certain species with a bait. Whereas net fishing, you just get what you get. As um, my kids say sometimes, you get what you get and you don't get upset. Right, so she's rested enough, I think, to come out and help a little bit, but we're already up to you know, 15,500 kilos, or 15,000 kilos, I should say. Um, we've got 1,200 cod, so a lot more cod than pollock again. It's a time of day, it's 8 a.m., so we could nearly 
Turn these lights off. I might leave these lights on for them. I don't think we need the lights on in the in the cabin. Um, how are you doing up here? <coughs> it's on 60 Pollock, so he hasn't done much. Definitely seems like a good spot to fish. Filled up a lot quicker than the other side, so they must be swimming this way a little bit. Although it's going to be a bit disappointing though, because I've got um, three lines to go, and we're already nearly full. So I don't, you know, I don't want to leave, I don't like leaving lines out. I don't like really a minute when we don't need the fish that's on there. It's just, yeah, I think we, we might be overfishing a little bit. But, as I said, there's no guarantee that we're going to get, you know, six or seven thousand per line. Our first line was only three thousand, then the other two have been pretty good since then, so it's kind of just a luck of the draw 50-50 you know hit and miss sort of thing I guess this one certainly looks full again so we'll reel them in but um, what I'll do here guys is I might throw in a bit of a cut um, and reel these next two in and I'll bring you guys back when we're finished or we're just about to finish our last long line and we'll head to port and see how much money we make it might make this one a little bit shorter episode than normal so I'll see you guys back here in a second Right here guys, we're back. So the last line that we did reel in actually filled the boat. Um, we didn't lose too much, it wasn't actually that great a line. I think we pulled in about 1800 kilos and lost about a thousand, so it wasn't too bad. But Emma's tired, she's gone for a rest. Uh, poor bugger, she's been working hard. Victor has been working hard as well, hand gutting. So he's slowly getting closer to Emma as far as hand gutting goes. But Emma's still obviously the better person for us to be able to use. Um, let's shut that engine off again instead of sitting here wasting fuel. At the moment, um, we've got 8,500 kilos of cod and 6,000 kilos of pollock. So, look at our finance screen 666, 233, 754, 562. Uh, 754, 562. So, still Lunenberg. Lunen Lunenberg, I should say, is still the best place to go, so uh, let's head there again once we've reeled this line in. Hopefully we can make it there by fast travelling. We've got half a half a tank of gas, so we should be okay. I'm hoping. Just um I've got the TV on in the background. I don't know if you guys probably most of you guys probably watch the NFL. Um, Buccaneers versus the Giants today. Which I think the Buccaneers are going to smash them. But, um, you could just see the Giants at least put in a good effort and make it a bit more competitive. I think just with, um, Brady being with the Buccaneers this year, they're, they're doing awesome. They're doing really well, which is good to see. Anyway, back onto the slow mo and fishing North Atlantic. Get these last ones thrown on board. We'll throw them back into the sea. We'll let them go back. Because we are full. We are chockers. Um, 151 Pollock gutted. So, not a lot of gutting going on, unfortunately. You can go back to um, hand gutting, I think. And we'll let Emma rest. She's tired. They only 2,500 kilos, so not a great haul. But um, Let's head... So I don't know if I want to head like that, or we'll just head straight like this because I think it might be I don't know if it's cheaper to do it this way but at least if I do this um, I'll know when he actually gets too tired and I can swap him out for Emma it takes a while to get there though doesn't it it's more swordfish over here is that now that might be where we put them I did put a marquee for tuna because there was a huge amount of tuna in here these are the previous ones that we were chasing before and some swordfish there we don't need to worry about. I think it's too shallow. I've never, I haven't actually looked in this area to see if there's any decent fish in here. Um, let's have a look and see how he's going. 92 an hour, yeah, he's pretty much just about buggered, so we'll bring Emma out. Um, and then, can we make it to Lunenburg? Yeah, we can, good. 8 hours, see how much she's got gutted. 
I don't think they'll finish it by any means, but we'll see. Uh, so she's still, uh, she's idle, so maybe she didn't even do anything. I don't know, y you can go back to there, that's fine. Might have actually broke it doing that. Uh, let's look at some lights. Work lights, Emma, you can go, you can go and rest. It's alright, I'll take care of it. Get out of the way. Right, there we go. Let's get started. We'll hopefully get some good gutting here. So I'm not going to stress too much about getting five stars. I just want to try and get it done quick. But not also, also not stuff it up extremely bad. Like that one. Oops, wrong button. Next. Some more cod. Look at how big these are. That was terrible. Surprised that didn't give me a one star then. And I'm actually going underwater at the moment, which is uh, another one of those graphical glitches slash bugs that I really wish they would fix. I'm hoping it's only the smaller boats. Like, I haven't actually used a bigger boat and filled it up massively, so I'm hoping it's only these smaller boats that are still having the these small issues. God, this is taking forever. We should have, like, you know, cut like a thousand or two thousand kilos at a time. The silver hake. God, they're tiny and hard to see. I think I completely buggered that one. Yep, we're not very good at gutting these. That was extremely terrible. The boat's moving a little bit, but we can't blame the boat. Just me being terrible at it. Right, last one. Ah, oh, one more. You had to do it, didn't you? Alright, there we go. Emma, you can go and rest. Oops, we're drifting away from where we want to go. I don't even know if we're going to be able to get back in there easily. Going forwards, look, now we're going backwards. Forwards, backwards, look at the back of the boat, that's... Oh, that is shocking. It really is. As much as I enjoy the game and I still love playing it, this, this little stuff is just so annoying. Alright, so Haddock is down quite a bit. Uh, Pollock is... that's pretty good. 754 for Cod, still good. Down a little bit, down a little bit, 156,000. Not as much as last time, but still pretty good. Pretty good income. All right, let's rig up for deep line fishing. Boom. Um, fishing gear, buy deep lines, we've got 12. Okay, let's go bait. So we want to bait, let's go nine for squid. And then three, no, three for herring. Nine for squid. That'll be good, I think. Um, quickly check the bar again. Any more tips? Swordfish from a week ago, mackerel, redfish. We'll grab all of it. Why not? Um, so, crew on board. So, where's deep line? Victor's not very good at deep line. We'll rest him at the crew house. We'll just keep Emma with us. Um, everything else should be good to go. Alright, well, um, I guess we'll end the episode here, guys. Boat's gone back to normal, which is good. Full fuel. I'll head back out and we can, um... God, she's not doing anything. We'll head back out and we'll do some deep line fishing. Next episode, if we can, oh, that was close. So stay off that extra dock there. So, um, if you guys enjoyed this one, as always, smash that like button. Leave a comment, let me know what you think of this series so far. And if you want to see it continue, if you guys are new to the channel and haven't subscribed yet, guys, please do so. It's been Brito. Thanks for watching. See you again soon.